Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, if you want to know, as it's been a big question for a lot of people since I talked about the 13th and 14th generation Intel CPUs having a flaw and that updates will come, um, of course, it, the question came from a lot of people. Am I affected? How do I know I'm affected or not? So to know your generation of CPU, right click on the start button in Windows 10 and 11 and go into the task manager. There you'll want to go into the performance and of course make sure you click on CPU. So this is an eighth generation CPU, okay? You know it by the first number. And so if your number is you know, after the i5, i7, or whatever you have, um, you know, 7250 or 8259 like this one, or 90, you know, 350 or whatever, that means you're seventh or eighth or ninth generation. If, and of course, you see that there's four numbers in the letter. If you are higher than 10 generation, 10 or up, then you'll have 10,000 something with a letter and 11,000 something with a letter. So if you see 10, it starts with a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's the generation. So if you see 13 or 14 at the beginning here, then that means you are in the 13th, 14th generation and are possibly uh, going or could have issues with the processor and that you'll need to update your system at some point when you get the fix for it. Anybody else that's not a 13 or 14 gen is not affected. There are absolutely no issues. So this really needs to be 13th, 14th generation only. So that's how you can check easily what generation your Intel processor has. And uh, you can use the same uh, task manager for the AMD Ryzen problem that I, that I talked in the video. See what series. So uh, that will give you a different numbering. But... If you see you're in the 4,000, 5,000, Ryzen uh, 7,000 series, so on, you know that you are affected by the security flaw of the AMD chip. So if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.